Welcome back to the In One Health channel. Today we will focus on a valuable topic in your dental health, dental cavities. In this video, what are dental cavities? How are cavities formed? How to prevent cavities? What are the treatments for cavities? We will also explain the key nutrients that can help prevent cavities. So stay tuned with this video to get valuable things for your life. What is the cavity? A cavity, in the context of oral health, refers to a hole or damaged area in a tooth that results from dental decay or dental caries. Dental cavities are commonly known as cavities or tooth decay. These cavities are caused by a process of demineralization and erosion of the tooth's hard tissues, including the enamel and dentin, due to the acids produced by bacteria in the mouth. How do cavities occur? The process of cavity formation is typically a result of the following steps. Plaque formation. Plaque is a sticky, colorless film of bacteria and food particles that constantly forms on your teeth. These bacteria feed on sugars and produce acids as a byproduct. Acid production. When you consume sugary or starchy foods and beverages, the bacteria in plaque metabolize the sugars and produce acids. These acids can lower the pH level in your mouth, creating an acidic environment. Demineralization. Acidic conditions can cause the minerals, calcium and phosphate, in the tooth enamel to dissolve in a process called demineralization. This weakens the enamel and creates small, white spots on the tooth's surface, which are early signs of cavity development. Formation of cavities. Over time, if the acidic environment persists, the demineralization process continues and can progress to form small holes or cavities in the enamel. Once the enamel is breached, the decay can progress more rapidly into the softer dentin layer beneath the enamel. Bacterial invasion. The bacteria in plaque can now invade the tooth's inner layers, including the dentin. This can cause the cavity to grow larger and deeper. Symptoms. As the cavity progresses, it can cause various symptoms, such as tooth sensitivity, pain when eating or drinking hot, cold, sweet, or sour foods, and visible holes or dark spots on the tooth surface. Complications. If left untreated, the cavity can continue to advance, potentially reaching the tooth's pulp, which contains nerves and blood vessels. At this stage, severe pain and infection can occur requiring more extensive dental treatment like root canal therapy. How to prevent cavities? Preventing cavities involves a combination of good oral hygiene practices and making healthy lifestyle choices. Here are some effective ways to prevent cavities. Brush your teeth twice a day. Brush your teeth with fluoride toothpaste at least twice a day, preferably in the morning and before bedtime. Use a soft bristle toothbrush and make sure to brush for at least two minutes, covering all surfaces of your teeth. Floss daily. Flossing helps remove food particles and plaque from between your teeth and along the gum line where your toothbrush might not reach. Make it a daily habit. Use mouthwash. Consider using an antimicrobial or fluoride mouthwash to help reduce the levels of bacteria in your mouth and strengthen your teeth. Limit sugary and acidic foods and drinks. Reduce your consumption of sugary and acidic foods and beverages. These can contribute to the formation of plaque and the production of acids that lead to tooth decay. If you do consume them, rinse your mouth with water afterward or chew sugar-free gum to stimulate saliva production, which can help neutralize acids. Eat a balanced diet. Consume a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Calcium-rich foods like dairy products, leafy greens, and almonds can help strengthen your teeth. Drink water. Water is an excellent choice for staying hydrated and rinsing your mouth between meals. It helps remove food particles and acids that can contribute to cavities. Chew sugar-free gum. Chewing sugar-free gum with xylitol can stimulate saliva production which helps neutralize acids and strengthen tooth enamel. 
Dental sealants. Consider getting dental sealants, especially for your molars and premolars. These thin, protective coatings are applied to the chewing surfaces of your back teeth to prevent the buildup of plaque and food particles in the deep grooves. Fluoride treatment. Ask your dentist about fluoride treatments or using a fluoride toothpaste if you are at higher risk for cavities. Regular dental checkups. Visit your dentist regularly for professional cleanings and checkups. Your dentist can identify early signs of cavities and address them before they become more severe. Avoid smoking and tobacco products. Smoking and using tobacco can increase the risk of gum disease and tooth decay. Quitting or avoiding these products can improve your oral health. Use a mouth guard. If you grind your teeth at night or engage in contact sports, consider using a mouth guard to protect your teeth from damage. Maintain good saliva flow. A dry mouth can increase the risk of cavities. If you have a dry mouth, talk to your dentist about possible causes and treatments. Remember that preventing cavities is an ongoing process that requires consistent effort. By adopting these habits and maintaining regular dental checkups, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing cavities and maintain good oral health. What are the treatments for cavities? Dental professionals provide treatment to prevent further tooth decay, restore damaged tooth structure, and relieve any associated pain or discomfort. Treatment options for cavities can vary depending on the severity of the decay. Here are common treatments for cavities. Dental fillings, amalgam fillings. Amalgam fillings, also known as silver fillings, have been used for many years. They are made from a mixture of metals and are strong and durable. Composite fillings. Composite fillings are tooth-colored and are made from a resin material that bonds directly to the tooth. They blend in with the natural tooth color, making them a popular choice for front teeth. Glass ionomer fillings. These fillings release fluoride and are often used for small cavities in children and as a temporary filling for adults. Dental crowns. If a cavity is extensive and has weakened the tooth structure, a dental crown may be recommended. Crowns are custom made to cover and protect the entire tooth, restoring its strength and appearance. Root canal therapy. If a cavity has reached the pulp of the tooth, causing infection and severe pain, a root canal treatment may be necessary. During this procedure, the infected pulp is removed and the inside of the tooth is cleaned, filled, and sealed. Extraction. In cases where a cavity has severely damaged a tooth and it cannot be restored or if it poses a risk to neighboring teeth, the tooth may need to be extracted. Fluoride treatment. Fluoride treatments are often recommended to strengthen the enamel of teeth and prevent further decay. This treatment is commonly used for young children and individuals with early stage cavities. Sealants. Dental sealants are thin, protective coatings applied to the chewing surfaces of molars and premolars to prevent cavities in the pits and fissures of these teeth. They are often used in children as a preventive measure. Laser therapy. Some dental practices use laser technology to remove and treat cavities. Laser therapy can be less invasive and may require less drilling than traditional methods. Antibiotics. If a cavity has caused an infection or abscess, antibiotics may be prescribed to clear the infection before dental treatment is performed. The choice of treatment depends on factors such as the size and location of the cavity, the patient's age and overall health, and the dentist's recommendations. It's important to address cavities promptly because delaying treatment can lead to more extensive damage and potentially more invasive and costly treatments. Regular dental checkups and good oral hygiene practices, including brushing and flossing, are essential for preventing cavities and maintaining optimal dental health. What are the good vitamins for the prevention cavity? Several vitamins and minerals are essential for maintaining good oral health and can play a role in preventing cavities. Here are some key nutrients that can contribute to cavity prevention. Calcium. 
calcium is crucial for the development and maintenance of strong teeth and bones. Dairy products like milk, cheese, and yogurt are excellent sources of calcium. Leafy greens, almonds, and fortified plant-based milk alternatives, like almond milk or soy milk, are also good options for calcium intake. Vitamin D. Vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium, making it an essential nutrient for healthy teeth and bones. You can get vitamin D from sunlight exposure, fortified foods, such as fortified dairy products and cereals, and supplements if your healthcare provider recommends. Vitamin K. Vitamin K plays a role in maintaining bone density and can be beneficial for oral health. Leafy greens, like spinach and kale, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts are good sources of vitamin K. Vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is important for gum health and collagen formation in the gums and other tissues. Citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, strawberries, kiwi, and bell peppers are rich sources of vitamin C. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is essential for maintaining the health of mucous membranes, including those in your mouth. It also contributes to the production of saliva, which helps protect against cavities. Carrots, sweet potatoes, spinach, and apricots are good sources of vitamin A. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is another mineral that supports tooth enamel and is found in foods like dairy products, nuts, and lean meats. Fluoride. While not a vitamin or mineral, fluoride is a mineral that helps strengthen tooth enamel and can significantly reduce the risk of cavities. Many municipalities add fluoride to tap water, and it is also present in toothpaste and mouthwash. Antioxidants. Antioxidants, such as vitamin E, can help protect gum tissue and prevent inflammation. Nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils are good sources of vitamin E, B vitamins. B vitamins, particularly B2, riboflavin, and B3, niacin, can support oral health. These vitamins are found in foods like meat, fish, dairy products, and whole grains. It's important to note that while these vitamins and minerals are beneficial for oral health, they should be part of a well-balanced diet and not be relied upon as the sole method of cavity prevention. Good oral hygiene practices, such as regular brushing, flossing, and dental checkups, along with a diet low in sugary and acidic foods and drinks, are also essential for preventing cavities. If you have specific concerns about your dental health or dietary needs, it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare provider or dentist for personalized recommendations. Thank you for watching the video and if this video was important, please like, comment and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more health-related videos.